Greetings, Log MC Church. I come to you with very exciting announcement. Every year we begin with a season of fasting, and this year is no different. So we begin our fasting season on January 9th, Monday, January 9th. I'm very excited for this time because this is the time of spiritual investment. This is the time when we bring kingdom into our life and to the life of our cities. So what is fasting? Fasting is abstaining from food and other basic human cravings for spiritual purpose. Fasting is the biblical way of cultivating a deeper relationship with Holy God. That is why fasting is so special, because it has to do with your relationship with the Holy Lord. But fasting has to have a goal, has to have a focus and purpose. So what is our focus and purpose of our fasting? Here is the purpose of our fasting. Choosing God to shine. We need to understand the deeper our relationship with the Lord, the more God we reveal in our lives. And this is the very focus of our fasting this year. This Sunday, I will speak more on the subject of our fasting, but today I want to give you more practical direction. First of all, how do you prepare yourself for fasting? I always ask for the help of the Holy Spirit. I consider myself is too weak to conquer my flesh. That's why every time I fast, before my fasting, I sincerely ask Holy Spirit to help me, to engage my faith, to awaken my hunger, to make me passionate for the things of God. And after I pray that, it always happened that He helped me to come before the Lord in fasting. Number two, you need to cut down your food consumption, especially on the coffee or sweets or fat. Just cut it down every day so the first day of fasting will not be as difficult for you. Number three, I want you to get together with your spouse and Ask yourself a question. Where do you want God to shine in your family life? Is it your relationship? Is this your health, children, finances, or others or other area of your life? Just write it down. Make agreement. Because Bible says if two of you agree to ask, it will be given for you. So assignment number one, talk to your spouse and make agreement. What do you want God? Where do you want God to shine in your family life? Assignment number two, prayerfully consider where do you want God to shine in your personal life? Maybe there is some struggle in your life. Maybe some other issue that you are first facing personally. Just figure it out. Where do you want God to shine in your personal life? So write it down. And assignment number three. Where do you want God to shine in your ministry life? Every one of you called to serve. And God definitely wants to shine through your ministry. So prayerfully, take time, think about it, ask yourself a question, and come with the petition before the Lord. Lord, 
I want you to shine in this area of my ministry. Write it down. We prepare uh, the form for you. You can you can have it uh, one in Sunday service, or you can use QR code and complete it and submit it to us. You can submit it to us without your name. And we will collect all the paper. And every night when we're going to gather for the prayer, we're going to spend a little time to pray for your prayer request. We will look into it and we will uh, focus on the most requested area of the prayers. We want that this fasting will be most effective time of prayer and the spiritual warfare. We want God to shine in your life. Let me tell you a little bit about the fasting itself. So what is the Daniel fasting? Daniel fastings allow some of the food to be consumed because it is happening for 21 days and not all people could um, sustain themselves only on liquids. More information on, on what you can eat and what food to be avoided, you can find in the booklet that we are prepared for you. I want to emphasize that there's something very, very important. It's our daily prayer. We prepare the prayer for every day. Why it is important? Because God celebrates unity. He loved to see his people united behind his kingdom. So I pray that you will follow daily prayer, that you will attend every evening prayer meetings, because this is the time when God wants you to be united with the church, with his kingdom, with agenda of his kingdom. We want to bring every ministry of our church before the Lord during this time, because we want to multiply. We want to see every ministry is prospering and, and being a blessing to so many people around us. There's one more important thing about fasting. The power of fasting is not for you abstaining from the food. It's for you to be hungry for God, hungry for the kingdom of Jesus Christ. So your prayer is critically important during the season of fasting. I ask you, when you get up in the morning, find a time, open the booklet, read a couple passages that we provided for you, and come before the Lord with prayer. I will give you more information on how to pray during the Sunday service sermon. But it is so important that you will find the time to pray, to meditate on the Lord, to come to evening service. And I want to conclude with following. Fasting that God chose has to include not only your needs, but the needs of others. God is not happy with His people when His people always think about more blessings for themselves. God is the God who wants to bless people. And He wants you to have the mindset and the heart that He has for the people around us. That's why our fasting time will include a lot of intercession and prayers that not only, not only us needed, but our city, our families, our extended families that probably fall far away from Christ. That's why I want to encourage you. May the Lord bless you. May the Holy Spirit rise you for this time. May this will be a most happy, joyful time for you. Bless you. And I will see you this Sunday.